What's going on everybody? Day back again and today, what do we have for you? Oh yeah, got a new camera for the setup and this one, um, ever since that Canon announced that they had the webcam utility, I was like, mm, I kind of miss using Canon cameras. So I ended up picking up this guy. Uh, it has a lot of great reviews and everything. This is primarily going to be, it's going to be one of my cameras that I end up using. Um, I've got a couple lenses coming because um, I wasn't satisfied with just having the kit lens. Um, I have a couple prime lenses on the way. This will probably be used for my you know, face cam, my straight on shot. And then I want to use this for actually taking photographs and doing video and stuff like that. So that's what this camera is going to be for. I ended up completely redoing my whole rig and uh, I will, once I shoot this unboxing video, I will uh, use this camera to show you guys everything I ended up doing. And I'm kind of excited about it and I'm kind of scared at the same time. But without further ado, this is going to be a simple unboxing. I'm not going to go over uh, like the features and the menu and everything. I'm going to play around with it, find the settings that work best for me, and then uh, some accessories that I ended up picking up for it, and then go from there. So without further ado, let's crack this open. All right, so we have the top side right here. On this side over here, you get a shot. You get some info over here. Contents, digital camera, EOS, M50, zoom lens, 15 to 45. Now, one of the things that you have to keep in mind is because this is a crop sensor that you have to do the calculations. So what would be a full frame, let's say a DLSR, a 15 to 45 on here, a 15 to 45 will be closer to a 24 to 60. I think that would be the calculation. So that's about what this lens will end up doing. You get a neck strap, battery charger, and battery pack. Now, I already know that the battery that comes with this, the stock batteries, they are kind of crappy. They're 850 ma. I have already charged this. That's about the only thing that I've done with it. Um, they're 850 ma. I did end up picking up some aftermarket that are a lot better. So I'll show those to you in another video. Taking a look at the backside. This does have Wi-Fi. It does have Bluetooth, HDMI, and PictoBridge. I'm not sure. I think that's the for the Canon app. You can transfer images and I don't know about video. It all depend on, I guess, the size of it. But you can transfer pictures directly from the camera to your phone with the app. And the other side, I'm not gonna show you because it's got my barcode and everything for my warranty and I don't wanna put that out there right now. Cracking this open. The normal Canon limited warranty, all that information, we still gotta fill that out and send that in. You get a manual book that no one will read and it's in uh, three different languages, I think. Yeah, so no one ever reads these. Uh, registration card, you get a neck strap. I've never ended up using one of these. Um, I have one, but for my other cameras, I never end up using these. Crack it open with the rest, and it kind of looks cavernous. Like for the price, now this is a good price now. It was originally uh, 800 and some odd dollars when it came out. I never end up getting things when they first come out as far as cameras go. Uh, I give it a year or two for them to come out. The price ends up dropping quality. There's firmwares and I know that this needs a firmware update. So I will end up doing that before I end up filming with it. You get a battery. And like I said, I've already charged it. It is a, a uh, 875 ma lithium ion 7.2 volt. Uh, there are plenty, plenty of others. If you're looking for batteries for this, it is a LP-E12. And one of the things that's kind of hard to come by, at least that's because everything's coming from freaking China, is the dummy batteries. I ordered one and I'm still waiting for that to update. Who knows when it'll end up coming. You get a battery charger. I don't know if I'll end up using this because the new charger that I ended up getting actually can charge two batteries at once and it's the same size as this. So that is convenient. This one, it has for the wall plug, the new one I have actually has a USB charge. So that actually is more convenient because, well, we always have a USB cable on us. We have the camera. Pulling it out. Some crinkly plastic AMSR. So here's the camera. The lens, it's a little dainty lens. Not as small as the one for the A6000, but it's dainty. All right, so we're going to get this out of the way. 
And I'm trying to get this undone pretty quick because there's supposed to be thunderstorms and the sun is going down and I want to try and use this to get some some videos. All right, so here is the kit lens. Um, it feels kind of light. I believe this is plastic and aluminum body. The knurling on here is pretty nice. I do already know because I've already looked at this. There's one quirk with this that I don't like, and that is to be able to use it, you'll see this little switch over here. You have to flick this up and then go past a certain point. You have to, this dot has to go past here for it to actually activate when it's on the camera. The good part is like once it's in there, it's locked. So if you're shoving it in the bag or something like that, you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, that's a, that's a little quirk because if you're wanting, like if you have this in your pocket or you have this in your bag or you have whatever and it's off and you have that locked and you're trying to get a quick shot, like, I don't know, just to have to remember to do that. It's the only camera that I have that has a lens system like that. And it's just very quirky. Here we're taking a look at the main body. You do have a flip out screen, very nice. It flips out unlike the others that either flip up or flip down. Whoever had the brilliant idea of flipping it down underneath everything was a freaking idiot. Uh, there's one of the Canon cameras that does that. You get a good angle down. You get a full flip so that you can have the screen facing you if you're doing it vlog style. I do need to get a screen protector on here because I'm afraid just scratching it up. I like keeping my, all my things pristine. You do have a slide out port. This will probably be the first thing that you end up losing and you'll knock it out, you'll lose it. I would probably just put it in the box, like to be honest, because otherwise it's just gonna fall out. You're gonna lose it and you're gonna be sad especially if you go to try and resell it. On the knobs up here, you get some nice knurling. I do like that. You get a, a manual function, you get all your regular modes, and I'm not gonna go through everything right now. On this side over here, you get an HDMI and a mini, not micro, mini? Yeah, I think that's mini USB port. You do get a Wi-Fi button over here, and that's why it actually activates if you're wanting to use the app to transfer things to your phone. Over on this side over here, Well, that's kind of awkward. That kind of worked out, I guess. So I guess that's made to flip out. That'll be annoying once it's flipping around, but you get actually get a microphone jack on here, which is nice. So you can plug a mic into here. Canon did it right. Look, nothing dangly on the freaking hook hooks over here. Like, I hate that. I hate that with all the cameras. They have some metal dangly bit that's on there and it just rattles. And even when you're not filming video, just the rattle itself is irritating. You get the battery compartment down here, just like so. Battery's gonna go in just like so. And lock it down. Now, one of the things that's interesting is my other cameras, they have a little tab over here on the side for if you're using a dummy battery, this one actually has a tab right here. It twists to the side and it has a plug port right there. So the dummy batteries, the plug actually plugs into it right here. The door does have to be closed for the camera to operate. You get your tripod mount right there. We're going to pull off the cap that's on this one. Here's the backside of the sensor. Pull that off. You want to line up the white dot with the white dot and it'll lock into place to undo it. You'll push this button and it'll unlock the lens. But there's that. Pull off that lens cover. There's what you're looking at. And it's, it's not really that big. Kick it on and off. You've got the switch over here. I do like switches. And you'll notice here on the screen, it tells you push and hold the lens switch in the forward direction, then rotate the lens to enable shooting. So it won't even let you shoot or do anything without doing that. So what you have to do, take this, push it forward, and then it'll automatically activate once it hits a certain point. No card and camera. Screen is nice and big. I do like it. When you have it like this, it is easy. Right now I don't have it set on anything, but there it goes. 
Uh, now, Canon has one of the best face detections that I have seen in, in any of my cameras. Uh, I have the G7X Mark II, the little pocket camera, and it works great. Like the face detection is freaking fantastic on it. But as you can see, right now at a 15, about 16, that's gonna be equivalent of about a 24, 25. And you can see on the screen, if I tilt it up a little bit more, like that's literally about 16 inches away from my face. And I, I like that for the vloggy style. You can have the tripod mounted to it and you know have plenty of room around you so people can see like your surroundings. Uh, you can adjust it for closer, but, but yeah, that's it guys. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and uh, show you guys everything that comes in here. Uh, to lock the lock it, you will have to do that again. And it'll tell you if you want to use the lens to, well, push and undo the lock again. Definitely stay tuned. We will be going over this more. I will be using it more, showing you all the ins and outs and how it ends up working and how it ends up working for me in my situation. And then going from there. If you like this video and you want to see more tech stuff and just stuff in general, click that like button consider hitting that subscribe button and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out YouTube.